Hi everybody, it's Cookie Lou in Arizona. It is a very cold day today in Arizona. It is gray, it is cold, it is raining. Well, the rain stopped, but it's been raining for the last two days. And we had hail yesterday. Can you believe hail? So anyway, I just wanted to come in and say hello and um, just check in and say hello. Don't have too much to report. Um, everything is pretty much the same with me. Uh, my weight is um, fluctuating between 172 and 175, um, which is good. That's good for me. I'm happy with that. And um, sometimes I eat good, sometimes I don't eat good. Uh, I know that if I have anything too fatty or too greasy, it gives me intestinal distress and it's not a happy day for me. So I try to stay away from it. As I'm sure many DSers out there know about. And um, I don't know, it's been a slow winter for me. It's been uh, nothing special happening. Uh, I do want to... Um, a little adventure for myself and uh, I'm looking into booking a cruise maybe in April or May I need to uh, to cruise to get out there and and have a little adventure and um, my birthday is tomorrow so it's gonna be a birthday present for me uh, last time I did uh, first and only time I did a cruise was on my 70th birthday I wanted to treat myself to uh, something on my bucket list, make something on that bucket list actually happen, and a cruise was on the list. So I, uh, I took a cruise to uh, the Caribbean on the um, Norwegian getaway, and it was a lovely time. I really enjoyed it. And uh, they knew it was my birthday there, and I got a birthday cake, and I got chocolate-covered strawberries sent to my room, and the band uh, sang happy birthday to me. Uh, in the club, and then the um, that afternoon, I was by the pool, and they said, "Okay, Lucille, stand up. We're gonna sing Happy Birthday to you again." And there had to be about a thousand people by the pool, <laughs> literally, you know, on the deck and by the pool, and and on the upper levels, and they all. Uh, it was my birthday, and a lady called Emily's birthday. And I don't know who she was or where she was in the crowd because she didn't stand up, but uh, I stood up. And about a thousand passengers on the uh, SS Norwegian getaway sang happy birthday to me. So that was a lovely 70th birthday. And um, I mean, come on, how many times does, in a girl's life do a thousand people sing happy birthday to her? So it was really nice. And uh, so I'd like to uh, let's book another cruise, you know, do it again. And uh, so anyway, uh, nothing much else happening. Uh, cold, rainy. We had hail yesterday, like I said, which was uh, odd, you know, you know. But it was so frosty outside and so cold that I guess the rain uh, turned to ice. But well, I hope everyone out there is doing well. Um, uh, I want to give a shout out to um, Tammy, Shrinking Violet. In Oregon, uh, she had uh, her plastic surgery done um, last month, and I believe she's recently came home from Monterey, Mexico. Dr. Sauceda gave her a complete one and done from the knee kneecaps all the way up <laughs> to her armpits, and uh, she uh, she was doing well. When she came home, she did have a a little problem with cellulitis. She had a little bit of some kind of infection. Uh, which happens has nothing to do with the surgery or where she had it or any of that. Some people just get that. Uh, matter of fact, there was another woman who I believe on um, her website mentioned that after she had her plastic surgery, she had uh, a problem with MRSA. And she said that she was a nurse for 27 years. And she says, I when you're a nurse that long and you're in the hospital, you are susceptible to all kinds of bacteria. And even, and you, it kind of um, hibernates in your system and it waits for an opportunity to flare up. And she says that plastic surgery was a perfect opportunity for that MRSA 
to uh, kind of sneak up to the surface and flare up. And uh, that's the only reason why that happened to her is because of her profession, which I didn't know. I didn't know that you can... Um, I know that when you're in the healthcare field and you're working in a hospital all the time, you can get all kinds of illnesses because you're subjected to so much bacteria and germs and viruses and stuff. But I didn't know that you could be subjected to it and it can kind of hibernate in you until it has an opportunity to come out. And so she, that's her plastics was her opportunity for that. So uh, it's you know, interesting to know about things like that. You know, you learn something new every day. But anyway, uh, Hi to Tammy. Uh, my thoughts and my heart are, are with you, as she knows, in Oregon. Uh, happy recuperation. Just rest, relax, and don't do anything foolish, like drive around town like Cookie Lou did, and pop a stitch. That was a, that was a that was a disaster. But uh, anyway, my little wound that I have in my belly is pretty much closed up. Uh, this happened December 23rd, and it is now the 22nd of February, and I finally stopped bandaging it. It, it isn't weeping any fluid anymore. Uh, I'm going to stand up, I'm going to show it to you, because some people might be interested in seeing it. But if you don't want to see it, then I'll say goodbye. But anyway, I'm going to kind of stand up and show you what is left of that little rupture that I had on my incision line. Uh, Bottom line, the reason for the rupture was um, I was three weeks out of surgery. I didn't rest and relax like I was told to. Uh, I was in and out of the car. I popped something. I felt a real bad pinch, and I popped something. I don't know if it was a stitch or a blood vessel or whatever. And uh, within 48 hours, I, I had a little red mark on that place where I felt that pinch. And within 48, uh, 48 hours, it turned from a little tiny mark to this huge bleed that was kind of hemorrhaging underneath my skin. Um, my, um, I am on blood thinners, and I think that's why that happened. So like a fool, uh, I took some antibiotics that I had in the house here, about 150 milligrams of amoxicillin, which made my INR blood thinning level accelerate, like to double what it should be. And that just caused more bleeding. And then when the bleeding got to the point where it was maximum, um, I had sent photographs to Dr. Sosave, and he told me you see all that is blood or fluid uh, that is accumulating in there, and it's looking for a way out. It's looking for the weakest spot in your body so that it can push out. So go to a hospital and see if somebody can drain that before that happens. So it was uh, the 23rd of February. Of course, there was no doctors around. It was Christmas. Hey, you know, medical field just goes goes skiing or wherever the hell they go on Christmas. So um, I think, well, I guess I have to go to the hospital because no doctors are around. I called three of them. And uh, I didn't get a chance to get to the hospital. The thing popped all over the bathroom. You know, I had... Preparing for the worst, I had wore an adult uh, panty, you know, like a little adult diaper type thing. And I had some Kotex there in that area. So when I felt it biting at me, um, I knew something was going to blow. It was so painful. It just felt like a major pinching. And so I prepared myself. and. Uh, massive amount of blood all over everything. Took everything off, blood all over the floor, went into the shower, tried to you know, squeeze as much out as possible, clean everything off. And now I have this major three inch rupture hole in my incision line. So I had to call 911 because it wouldn't stop bleeding. And they took me to uh, urgent care. The EMTs came and they said, oh yeah, you got a hole in your stomach. You're gonna have to take me to do I go to the hospital? Well, I, I said, well, I don't want to go to Boswell Hospital. I had some, their ER isn't the best. So they took me to an urgent care center in Peoria where they felt I would get um, seen quicker or something. Anyway, what they did there was they cauterized the wound and they, and they bandaged it. And they said it's going to continue to weep and bleed, um, but uh, it's disinfected, you know, because of the, cauter you know, the, cauter the uh, cauterizing it, burning it. 
That was gross. When somebody burns your flesh, it really stinks. Anyway, um, so I had the opening. Either we can't stitch it, we can't close it. We have to keep it open and let it heal from the inside out. I've told you guys all this before, but for those of you who don't know, I'm repeating it. I apologize. And I, so I just had it bandaged for two months. And uh, I'd say about six weeks of uh, bleeding and body fluid, uh, uh, keeping it uh, the bandages changed eight to ten times a day, keep it clean. Um, it's finally started to, to dry up. And, uh, but I kept it bandaged, and I just took the bandages off because it's pretty much closed up. So I'm going to step up, and I'm going to show you what's left of that wound. If you don't want to see it, then thanks for watching up until this point, and uh, have a good day. Okay, here we go. Let's see. See? There it is. That's what's left. See this little indentation right there? It's still kind of smiling at me. It's not flat, but uh, it is closed, pretty much closed up, as you can see. That's it. Okay, everyone. Um, that's my news. That's my update. Don't have too much more to talk about. I talked it off. Um, everybody send Tammy some good vibes and hope that her healing progresses nicely. And I uh, want to say hi to uh, my friend Tammy. You know who you are, Tammy. Uh, we were in Monterey together in November. Uh, she had some work done by Dr. Saseda and when I had my tummy, so no, actually, no, I think I went to see her in December. I went to see him when I had this rupture. You know, whenever I do something, I always have to have multiple visits to Dr. Saseda. So I saw, I saw Tammy, uh, we were, I met her at the hotel in December. And uh, hi, Tammy, if you're watching. That's another Tammy, different Tammy, not the one that just, not the one from Oregon. This one's from Houston. And uh, anyway, okay, I, I talked enough. I don't have really much more to say. Um, so uh, everyone have uh, a happy day, a happy weekend. The weekend's coming up, and I'll talk to you again soon. Just want to come in and say hello and give you an update. That's about it. Okay, um, all right, thank you. Um, I think I'm going to come in tomorrow uh, with um, uh, just for do a little birthday video and uh, share my birthday cake with you. Okay, bye.